Well, at SmashCon, he had a solid placing, I think. Um, out of there, there, they had there were like close to a thousand players there, and I, I'm pretty sure they got like 130, 100 uh, something, maybe less, or uh, within 100, top 100. Which is props to him. Very good job. He's definitely been putting in work and been doing a, uh, doing well recently. But that being said, he's still playing against two of the best players in Philadelphia, and uh, him and his teammate Zan, and they both lose their stocks pretty quickly. And now, <coughs> I, I mentioned this before, uh, how certain sometimes or a lot of the time you want to be looking for the two-on-one, but when you have two players that are generally better than the other two on the screen, like individually, you actually do want to be looking for the wondrous ones. And you actually see, you can see that uh, Smokey and Stango are constantly looking for the one-on-one -on -one situations, or favoring the one-on-one -on -one situations as opposed to the, ooh, good edge guard. Edge hog, at, at that. Um, but they they tend to favor the the one-on-one -on -one situations as opposed to the two-on-one -on -one situations, which makes sense because they can handle themselves much better in one-on-ones. And not just that. When when I say that, I mean that um, because they are so uh, generally dominating in the one-on-one -on -one situations, they can keep the uh, keep the players, the blue team. Um, away from each other. They can keep them from getting to each other to help each other out because they're so much better at, at commanding um, neutral and commanding, you know. They have such a better command of the game in general. Oh, that would have been sweet. I like that uh, St Sango tried to time that board throw and I like that Smokey went for the, oh what I think I think Nagy saved him with that down tilt because <laughs> Smokey just didn't even get up from the edge oh that was so crazy oh what a good down air who team kind of bringing this back all right but Smokey's not having anything of it Swift up smash takes away Nagy stock and Zant with the Questionable DI. And then gets down aired. Oh, hey, look, it's me. I didn't think I'd be on the screen. We weren't switching out the cameras last week because uh, we were a little preoccupied with running the tournament and running the stream by ourselves, which Jimmy actually normally does, which is really impressive, um, super impressive. But it was hard to switch back between being back here uh, in the commentator booth and being up front running the tournament. Uh, also, shout outs to Metal Reaper, Bobby Deke for helping out with that. That was amazing. And Valerie, because Valerie's awesome. And she's always awesome. But anyway, back to the match. Off to the races. Lots of damage being thrown every which way. Slightly favoring red team. No stocks have been taken yet, though. Good up B out of shield. Just immediately. Oh, and then perfectly spaced or positioned for that forward smash. On the platform. Oh, single definitely drifted way too far forward. Uncharacteristic. accidental grab will happen every once in a while on teams. Uh, Smokey being a little too aggressive off stage, I would say. But to be honest, I, I don't think it really matters. They're, they're clearly winning. I think he just wants to make the threat known. Or he just wants to do it because he wants to do it. Because that's who he is. Hmm. 
Now, when edge guarding in teams and generally comboing in teams, I, I, I like to think that going for the quickest um, punishes is, is the best. Like the quick, and what I mean by that is, <laughs> that was silly. Um, going for going for things that you could get in singles because you have the time to in singles doesn't work out as much in, in, in uh, doubles because they have a teammate to help them out if you don't do it, if you don't you know get the edge guard in time or uh, finish your combo or you sometimes you could be in the middle of an actual good combo but you can't finish it because there's another player on the screen there's another two more players on the screen that could interrupt it um, and I'm trying to point this out because I saw Nagy uh, trying to down tilt to edge guard, which generally is pretty good, but it, it's one of those edge guards that takes a while. And sometimes you just want to go for a quick down air, like a runoff uh, rising down air, to just see if you can catch them out and then go continue the pace of the game because uh, it's not going to. Um, 